Breathe with me, deep divers. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Another beautiful day in the secret garden. I hope you're taking care of yourself, deep divers. I hope you're coming out into nature, because there are literally fairies here, deep divers. Butterflies, birds, trees, leaves, bees. We got the whole lot here. And the cat down the road. <laughs> now, everything we know is backwards. We got a whole lot to talk about, deep divers. Everything we know is backwards. Prepare yourself for conscious awakening. Whenever I'm in nature, which is every single day, I always have these massive, oh my gosh moments. Do you have them too, deep divers? Like, oh my gosh. These massive epiphanies. Nature humbles me. Nature makes me realize I know nothing. And true enlightenment is knowing how much you don't know. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. From the moment you were born, you were told a story about planet Earth. But that's what it is. It's just a story. It's just his story. That's all it is. His story, it's not yours. And this is the reason why a lot of people go through life confused, go through life lost, feeling depressed, full of anxiety, because this story we have been given is a story which is not in our best interests and a story which is not serving us. We are made to feel inadequate. We are made to feel less than. And right now it's all about rewriting the story rewriting your story, controlling the narrative. And this is how we free ourselves. Every single day, when we talk of this conscious awakening, which is happening all around the world, it can't be stopped. Why can't it be stopped? Because right now, people are waking up faster than ever. This whole global pandemic a lot of people say, Ralph, why did it have to happen? It's terrible. I don't like it. Discomfort is the catalyst for great change. This had to happen. This is humanity's wake-up call. COVID means creating our vision in detail. And my oh my, the lockdown forced everyone to rethink their life to question their reality, to go within. And it birthed a conscious awakening in so many people, millions of people. And this is why you're seeing such a huge awakening, the great awakening happening worldwide. Because when the luxury is pulled from under your feet, when the comfort is no longer there and you are pissed off at the state of the world, you are exasperated, you are tired, you are confused, you are disappointed. What happens with great pressure? Diamonds are made. What happens when the world you once knew is no longer there? You are forced to start over again and this births a conscious awakening. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? Raising the frequency, raising the vibration. Beautiful deep divers, I love all of you. Now, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Everything we know is backwards. Prepare yourself for conscious awakening. So I know a lot of people watch my videos and they are also on their journey. So this video is just to give you some assurance to say, hey, if you're going through that, don't worry. I've been there, done that, got the shirt, deep divers. So when we talk about conscious awakening, there are levels to this shit, deep divers, and there are stages to conscious awakening. What many people go through on a conscious awakening is feeling alienated from the rest of society. 
having derealization where everything seems so surreal, like, oh my gosh, is this all a, a dream, a movie? Many times people feel like the odd one out. They feel like the fringe dweller, the outcast, the outlaw, the only one in their family who gets it. And this is a stage of conscious awakening which can be uncomfortable. When it's you, the only one in your group of friends who is awake and aware, they're all focused on sports and entertainment and you're focused on the fifth dimension. This is a stage of conscious awakening, feeling like nobody gets you, feeling like nobody gets you, feeling like you're all alone. And this is why you see the great masters, people like Buddha, all of these great masters, they are always alone because that's the first stage of conscious awakening where you are alone and you have to sit with your thoughts. You have to sit with your emotions. It's uncomfortable. It's not fun sometimes in the beginning until you realize it's the greatest blessing in disguise. You see, the crowd is the matrix. A lot of people don't think for themselves. They are sheep blindly following being led to the slaughterhouse. And this first stage of the conscious awakening is where you refuse to be a sheep. You refuse to be a sheep and you say, you know what? I'm gonna be alone. I'm gonna not force myself to be in crowds which I don't wanna be in. And when you're alone, what happened to me was that, oh my gosh, you realize this is the greatest feeling ever. Not being swayed by the crowd, having your own original thoughts, feelings, and emotions. You learn how to love yourself. You learn how to accept yourself. And this is a stage of conscious awakening. So when we talk of preparing ourselves for conscious awakening, because there are levels upon levels, we've got to learn how to be alone. We've got to remind ourselves we are actually never alone unless we abandon ourselves. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. We are never alone unless we abandon ourselves. And there are people who are alone who are more complete than people who are in a large crowd who know they don't belong there. What else happens? Misunderstood. A lot of people are misunderstood in this matrix. In this world, your family don't get you, you don't fit in, you're all alone. Being misunderstood, people might even call you a conspiracy theorist. And I'm here to remind you, deep divers, you are not crazy. You're just waking up. I've gone through my whole entire life being misunderstood until I created Infinite Waters and I created the wonderful Infinite Waters community, I was misunderstood. People were like, what on earth are you talking about? And this is a part of conscious awakening, being misunderstood. People don't really know where you're coming from. And I wanna remind you, it's not personal. It's just that a lot of people are still in the dream spell. You are waking up. Some people might even label you crazy, but you're not crazy, deep divers. You're just waking up. You're just able to see that this is not how we're supposed to be living. You're able to see that we are so much more than we were told. You're able to see that something is not adding up. Even in this global pandemic, you're able to have discernment. People around you blindly believe everything they're being told. You have a mind of yourself. You have a mind of your own. And that's beautiful to see. When I realized, Deep Divers, that even the media, when we talk of the television, which tells lies to your vision, all of this has been created with one objective, and that objective is to dumb down the masses. And this is why two companies own over 90% of all the corporations media-based. What do they own? BBC. Fox News, they own all of it. And we're talking about BlackRock, we're talking about Vanguard. So when you realize that, 
everything changes. So right now, you have to more than ever have the critical thinking. And this critical thinking births the conscious awakening. Critical thinking to say the three W's, why, what, when, children are asking questions. Why are children asking questions? Because they are able to remind themselves a wise man, a wise woman asks a thousand questions. A fool asks none. Right now, more than ever, in this whole new world, we must ask questions. We must demand answers. We must also go on the journey within. This births a new conscious awakening. Everything we know is backwards. I told you, when you live in reverse, L-I-V-E, it becomes evil, E-V-I-L. And this is why everything is inverted in this matrix. When it's time to celebrate, what do they give you? Alcohol. So you don't even know, you can't even, you can't even remember the good experience you had, right? So part of the conscious awakening and preparing ourselves for it is disbelief. A lot of people are shocked in a state of disbelief, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the world is so grimy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the world is, the world is so crooked. I can't believe they're scamming us every single day. And sometimes you feel angry at the state of the world. And this anger is natural. But what helped me along my journey was to remind myself of this. Instead of being angry, be productive. Because whoever angers you controls you. And what I did when I was angry, frustrated, I said, okay, instead of attacking what I hate, I'm going to start promoting what I love. Instead of being angry at the matrix, I'm going to put all of my energy into creating the new world. So preparing yourself for the conscious awakening is all about when you say, I've got to learn how to become an alchemist. And regardless of what is happening out there, I've got to make sure I'm in peace inside here. I've got to make sure I'm not controlled by external forces. I've got to make sure every single day I am content within myself. The breakdown, it happened to me, I had a breakdown. And I still keep having breakdowns. I love breakdowns because a breakdown means a breakthrough. And this is a stage of conscious awakening. You see, everything we know is backwards. Many times people say, how are you? And a lot of people say, I'm fine. What does fine mean? Fearful, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. Like the great Krishnamurti said, it is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. You've never been fine in your entire life. So when you remind yourself, the conscious awakening is not just about saying, I'm fine. It's about saying, actually, I'm not okay. I'm not fine. And this is a part of healing. Also, you might be going through a breakdown and it happens to everyone when they ascend they go through a breakdown. We call it the dark night of the soul. And it might seem like, oh my gosh, it's so depressing. I don't know if I'm going to survive. You go through emotions like that. The dark night of the soul is the transformation from the caterpillar to the butterfly. You are being born again. I went through the dark night of the soul, but I want to remind you of this, deep divers. It is in our darkest moments that we become illuminated. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. It is in our darkest moments that we become illuminated and therefore embrace the dark night of the soul because you are being transformed into a diamond. A lot of people are going to go through it. If you haven't gone through it, you're going to go through it. You're going to go through a massive breakdown, and that's going to lead to a breakthrough. I told you, everything that's happening right now on the planet is actually a catalyst for a huge awakening. Why? Because through great pressure comes great change. Through great adversity comes great self-awareness. Prepare yourself for conscious awakening. A lot of people will turn on you, 
people will judge you because you see the world differently from them. And you've got to learn how to have a thick skin. Remind yourself, you're not weird. Yes, you are. You're weird. Okay, I'm weird. But you know what, deep divers? Never be afraid to be called weird. Crazy or strange because those are all the geniuses anyway. And part of this conscious awakening is to remind yourself all the geniuses, they, they were labeled crazy, weird, strange, but they ended up inspiring millions of people. And it's funny. I was called kind of weird, but I'm inspiring millions of people right now. So remind yourself, if you want to go to the next level and ascend, you're going to have to stand in your truth. You're going to have to do the unpopular thing. You're going to have to believe in what you say and stand for something. You're going to have to protect the freedoms of your children. You're going to have to say enough is enough and say, look, we didn't come here to live in lockdown 24-7. We came here to be free. Because so long as you are silent, it will continue. Your silence is their consent. So, everything we know is backwards. Prepare yourself for conscious awakening. Let me tell you this, deep divers. Food is mood, but there's more to it than that. Food is consciousness. When you are eating a delicious strawberry full of vitamin C, seven-day vegan challenge, you are downloading information. And therefore, conscious awakening is birthed by eating to live. When you are eating leafy greens, vegetables, fresh fruits, you are now changing your consciousness. And this is why a lot of people who become plant-based, they are already awake and aware and they're growing more and more. They're getting heightened states of awareness because they're becoming more sensitive. They now see the interconnectedness between everything, that we didn't come here just to live in an ecosystem. We came here to live in an ecosystem and therefore I must, un I must, honor all life forms, right? And this is what happens with a conscious awareness, a conscious awakening. You realize separation is the greatest illusion ever created and everything is connected. And therefore religions become obsolete. Nationalities, races, all of these things. You just say, actually, I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. Prepare yourself for conscious awakening, deep divers. Prepare yourself to challenge yourself every single day. Prepare yourself to do the shadow work. Everything you see happening on the planet is nothing more than humanity's collective shadow. A lot of people say ignorance is bliss. No, ignorance is slavery. Wisdom is bliss. And if you are someone who's always being distracted every single day, thinking that you don't have to address the elephant in the room, guess what? the elephant is still going to be there. And one day you're going to wake up and say, oh my gosh, the whole world has changed. Well, you could have done something about it if you faced what was happening. And this is what happens with this conscious awakening. We've got to prepare ourselves to face our, to face our shadow side. We've got to prepare ourselves to face what makes us uncomfortable so we can ascend to new heights. And then just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Let's move around a bit. Beautiful, beautiful day. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're coming out into nature. <sighs> Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everyone who's been getting the wonderful good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. And if you're a sexy ass model, woo! With a whole lot of heart who wants to model the clothing, well, well, go and buy some. Add me on Instagram, Deep Divers, for more daily inspiration. Ralph Smart. At Ralph Smart. At Official Ralph Smart. And Facebook, at Ralph Smart. At Infinite Waters. And Snapchat, at <sighs> Good Ass Prana, baby. Check out the new book, Deep Divers, for more powerful, life-changing information just like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book. They tried to bury us deep divers. They forgot we were seeds. Remind yourself, prepare yourself for a conscious awakening. Prepare yourself for everything you know to be up for questioning. Because when you strip away what you think you know, you now start to stumble across a greater truth. 
everything we have been fed in this matrix is a lie. And when you wake up to that reality, you will stumble across the truth. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You! Oh, I love this place, deep divers. We're out here on the handheld. One love to everyone. Go live, Ralph. You want me to go live with this topic? Say, go live. I'm alive. Peace. Let's walk around, deep divers. Woo! <laughs>